everyone. I'm so glad that you joined me today because I discovered a technique a while ago and I want to share it with you because I think you're going to love it. It's called Coptic bookbinding. What you're going to need are two pieces of mat board or chipboard cut out to four by six. You're going to need to cut three pieces of 12 by 12 double-sided pattern paper down to six pieces of eight by six. You're going to need a spool of waxed thread and a curved needle, both of which you can find in the upholstery section of your craft store. You're also going to need a crocodile or an anywhere hole punch to make holes in your paper. First, take your front cover. Using your crocodile, punch a hole about a quarter inch from the top. Do the same about a quarter inch from the bottom and then punch three more holes in between. They don't have to be equally spaced. Place it over your back cover using a pen, mark where your holes are, and use those markings as a guide and punch holes in the back cover. Now you're going to make your mother's signature. Take one of the pieces of paper and fold it in half and make a good crease. Place it under a heavy book for waiting. After a few minutes, open it up Lay the front cover directly over the crease. You're going to use a pen and mark where the holes are in the front cover and use the pen markings as a guide. Punch out the holes in this, your mother signature. You're going to make five more signatures just like this, using the mother signature as your guide for when you punch your holes. A signature can contain between two and eight pieces of paper depending on their thickness. When they're all finished, place them all under a heavy book for waiting. Next, take your wax thread. You're going to cut a length that is the combined spine lengths of all your signatures and your covers. We have six signatures and two covers, so that's eight, and our length is six inches. So eight times six is 48, plus we're going to add a couple of lengths just to be safe. So that's going to be 60 inches of thread that we need. That's a little too long to work with, so I'm going to cut it in half and I'll show you how to add the thread later. Next, take your front cover and the first signature and using your threaded curved needle, insert the needle through the first hole in the first signature. You're going to go through the inside and around the cover back up through the covers hole and then back into the first signature hole. Leave a tail about two inches long using a square knot, tie off the ends, and then you're going to trim them. Now take your threaded needle go out through the middle of the signature and again you're going to go around the cover and up through the cover's second hole and then go back into the signature. You're going to continue to do this until you get to the last hole. Make sure that you keep the thread tight. It's best if you do this up against a table's edge so that you can keep everything lined up and tight, but we wanted to be able to show you a good angle. Now on the last hole, you're going to do everything just like you normally do, but when you're coming up through the covers hole, do not go back into the last hole in the signature. Instead, you're going to add your next signature. Go in through the outside of the signature and into the next hole. We're getting ready to start what's called the kettle stitch. What you do is instead of going out through the cover, you're going to go through the stitch between the cover and the first signature. And then you're going to go back into the signature. So you're replacing going in through the cover with the kettle stitch. We'll show you again. With the curved needle, it makes it really easy to get inside that stitch. Make sure you're pulling your string tight. And again, keeping your signatures and your covers perfectly lined up. On your last hole, make your kettle stitch like you normally do, but do not go back in to the last hole. You're going to add your third signature. 
basically it's just the way that you added the other signatures. But once you get to the third signature, instead of just doing two, I'm sorry, instead of doing one kettle stitch, you're going to go two. You're going to do it between the two previous signatures and then through the cover and the first signature. From now on, you'll always be doing two kettle stitches in every hole. Now go back in through the hole in the signature and continue on until you get to the last hole. Okay, now we're going to add some more thread. Make a slip knot in your next piece of thread and then thread your previous thread piece through there and just tie, pull on the slip knot to make it tight and then just trim off the excess, trim the tails. And then you have to re-thread your needle with the new thread. You're going to do your last signature and back cover at the same time. First, you're actually going to go through the back cover first and not the signature. You're going to do your two kettle stitches. Once you've done your kettle stitches, you'll go back in through the first hole of this last signature and then down and the rest is pretty familiar. You do the two kettle stitches going into the cover and then you'll go back into the signature. When you're making your last kettle stitches, you're not going to go back into the last signature. You're actually going to tie it off. Voila. This is a really simple Coptic binding book, but you can use your imagination and see what kind of great books you can make using this book binding method. Okay, everyone, it's time for this week's Hot Shots. First up is my collection pick of the week. Jennifer P. has scored her first Hot Shot pick with this layout created with the Retro Modern Collection. This layout created by Jen Jokish had me swooning at first sight. It's made with the Drama Queen and it's my fashionista pick this week. BMW Girl 1 is at it again. You guys sure do love her. She's your sister pick of the week with this layout using the Drama Queen collection. Now we're down to my overall pick of the week. It's by Kimmy Doll, and it's one of the most fun layouts I've seen in a really long time. Congrats to all our picks this week and to CV12, who is our randomly selected winner who commented on BMW Girl 1's layout. You'll all be receiving $20 gift certificates to the SysTV Boutique. <laughs>